I have a better stream schedule than a sleep schedule. That, that has to say something about what I appreciate in life. Anyways, back with um, Alien Isolation, because I love this game. And uh, I, I really, I really just want to beat the goddamn survivor mode. If only the flamethrower. I just can't deal without the flamethrower. It's just not possible for me. Alright. Starting over again. For the third time. <laughs> So loud, Jesus Christ. There you go. No, easy enough. I can actually save right now. That's cool. The thing is, like, I really like this game and I love playing it. But the survivor mode, it's just like, it's so stressful to play. So it's like... Ugh. I'm gonna do the Gemini right now again. Because I do want that, um... I mean, I guess it doesn't matter which one I want. I just... Be able to do the mission and... Get through with it and be able to save. Maybe he doesn't realize if I'm inside the, uh... The, uh, dead body here. Jesus Christ. That's, that's pretty ugly. Yep, now he's gonna do that shit again. He's just gonna be in front of the door. You know what, I think I'm gonna go for the android one, cause... Make it a stun bit. Mm. Again, the shotgun is pretty ni neat. And I'm, uh, I'm just gonna do that one. Why not? It's easy. It's really easy to do this one. Neat. Oh, hi there. This <laughs> is a fucking blind ass little shit. Good day, sir. GG easy. This is where the shit comes in. Let's do this. Alright, so he's gonna come this way first. Then he's gonna just run away. And that is when I have to go. Here he comes. And then he goes away. That's exactly the way I don't want you to go. I've never before had that happen to me in a normal game. It only happened in the DLC. Okay, now that's that's more like it. That's the amount of flamethrower fuel that I like. Okay, shut off the gas supply. Oh, this one's pretty... This, this one's easy. I'm gonna do that. Cool. That's an easy one. I like that. And they give me all the flares back that I just lost. How nice of them. And that's a- that is a lot of flamethrower fuel right there. Score token, blow script, propylum from Molotov. I think I'm gonna go for that. I don't remember this at all. I really don't. Oh, is this where you throw humans and the alien at me? Good luck with that.
Good job. You played yourself. How about you, uh... Go over there. There's a nice little... Flare over there. It's a... It's nice and red, you know. Don't you see it? Come on. It's, it's a nice one. There you go. Isn't it really cool? It's like all red and stuff. It looks like blood. Because you like blood. I know you do. Nah. Whew. Okay. Oh, that's that's a little bit stressful. All right. What do you have for me? Rescue the hostages. I think this is only humans, which makes things pretty easy. So I think I have to choose between alien or humans. Pretty easy. It is you or me. I mean, that's that's pretty. Obvious, isn't it? Either one is gonna die, and it's probably gonna be you because you're a little shithead. Let me just kill it with a bolt gun because you don't deserve any better. I like how powerful the bolt gun is. Give me back up the them. Yes, giving me back my shotgun shells. Which I can appreciate. I don't know if it actually would have made any different. What the hell is that sound? I guess it's the airlock. The guy getting out with the airlock. Alright, now, if I remember correctly, this next mission is the one that really eats up your shit. Like, it just gets rid of all of your stuff, and then it's like, yeah, survive this. I almost want to go with Gemini this time, because the Pekus one is just so stupid. Lockdown Gemini's secondary systems. No, I mean, I can always... I, I saved, so I can just go back to the save. You know? Who cares? I hope the sensor come up again. There it was. Oh, hi there. Yeah, well, I'm not- I'm not stupid, you know? I'm really not stupid. I might be a little bit dumb, but I'm not that stupid. Alright? You can just fuck off. Alright? Just... There we go. I gotta say, that scared me. That- that did scare me. What the- The fuck was that?! I just- <laughs> I fell through the map! What the fuck? That's the first time that has ever happened to me. Yeah, exactly. Immersion, gone. No more. What the fuck?! No, dude, don't do this to me. Okay, thank you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, great. You wanna go out the fucking gill? I'll blast you off to hell. You want a Molotov, do you? Yeah, that's what I thought. Cool. I have never... I've never done this final mission, so... Let's see how this goes. Please don't throw everything at me at, at the same time. Please don't. Find the key, go to the maintenance room. What is the maintenance room? That is the question. I don't know where that is. Score tokens. Okay, it's a multiple score tokens because it doesn't really make sense. All right, let's do it. Let's final mission. Here we go. What are you gonna throw at me as the final thing? The alien. All right. He's like right on. The fuck is that? The fuck is that? There are two! Of course you would do this to me! Of course you would! Did I do that? Back the mainframe. Excuse me, what? What do you mean hack the mainframe? I thought I was done. That's the tenth mission.
I don't want to hack the mainframe. I don't have flamethrower fuel for this. Why do you do this to me, game? Why do you always got to do this to me? The end was so close. Now you're taking it away from me. You motherfucker. Just want to be done with this. I'm dead. I killed myself. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. How are you supposed to do that? One is hard enough to deal with. And I don't have flamethrower fuel for this shit. I used it all. I used it all in the last mission or the other side. Are you expecting me to survive this? You know, the game is scary when there's an alien. When there's two, it's... it's it's just... You have no cho- You have no choice. Or you have no chance, I mean. Not- I mean, you have a choice, but you don't have any- Is this room still safe? Because I'm not- I really don't know anymore. I'm just gonna use my last 2,200- 2,500 points. Save, because, oh, Jesus Christ, Whew. Okay, I'm gonna assume it's still safe. Did I actually make it for the first time? Uh. Take the, take the elevator. Okay, I made it for the first time. Anyways, that was Alien Isolation Survivor Mode on Safe Haven. Oh, <laughs> that is stressful as shit. I was like, yeah, I mean, this isn't even bad because there's just one alien. It's not, it's not that difficult. And of course, then they throw in another alien and it starts being so fun, or stops being so fun. It was fun. I gotta say it's fun. It's definitely fun. And uh, definitely, it's it's way more fun when you actually know what you're doing. And you can just kind of go through it and find all the stuff you haven't found before and kind of, you kind of know how to do it. And do you learn how the alien works and all that. Then it's really fun. Um, even though you think it, you know, kind of gets boring and, you know, and what's the scary thing about it, but... There is just that little bit of, like, unpredictability with the alien. You always don't really know what he's doing. So there's that, like, kind of, is it going to go that way? Is it going to go this way? Or is it going to just turn around and just kill me? And, yeah, I love this game. I really do. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did, even though my heart is racing like crazy and I need to take a little bit of break. So, yeah, thanks for joining. Thanks for the follows. And I'll see you in the next video. Or video. Uh, stream.